Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again reacting to yet another requested video. Today's video request comes from Arzu Tadion, so hello to you and thank you very much for requesting today's video. The video in question that I'm reacting to today is titled The Magic Christmas Parody Thomas and Friends Short Film, which was premiered on January 22nd of 2021. The video duration is 21 minutes and 12 seconds, and the video description gives credit to those who worked and contributed to the film. The video itself was uploaded by Mr. ConductorFan1406, so thank you to you for uploading and creating your content. Like with all my reaction videos, if there's something in this video that I feel may disturb someone to some degree, I'll be sure to mention that in the video description, so feel free to check that out before watching the rest of the video. So with all of that out of the way, let's actually get to watching the video itself. Sounds legit. Hello, oh. I'm Hello. Mr. Conductor Jr., and I'm going to tell you a story about Christmas dumb shit with trains, and diesels that believe that nothing can be known of the existence or nature of God or anything beyond material phenomena. Great. <gasps> Sounds legit. I love Christmas. That's actually kind of legit. I like that. So it is supposed to be like comedy. That's nice. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I like it. Okay. Smoke weed, baby day, dude. Smoke weed. Oh, he's got a Christmas hat. Nice. It was the day before Christmas. Awesome. Island of Sodor. Hello. The sets look super nice so far. And what have we here, me RT? He finna die. <laughs> What's that, lad? Ye sure ye are lucky the whole ocean hasn't frozen over? Yeah. <laughs> You're probably pretty freezing cold. Yes. <laughs> Don't look at me. How did they do that with the eyes? Hey, everyone! Percy's taking the plunge again! <laughs> Dang it, <laughs> Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad for them to you have know, Christmas sweater, hats there? I don't know. This time of year makes me feel so uh obscure, offended, uh, oppressed. Oh yeah, yes, that's why. It. Uh, is that so? I happen to share that opinion. This time of year is absolutely miserable to operate during. Nothing subtle about Christmas on Sodor. Everything's so extravagantly commercialized and oppressively conformist. Good words. Thank you. Again. <laughs> I take it that you two don't care for the Christmas festivities around here. Why? What makes you say that? Well, what's wrong with celebrating what's the winter that? holiday season, man? Because, numbskull, that phrase is offensive. It implies that there aren't more. What do you mean? What? We're, We're agnostic. agnostic. Oh, you don't celebrate Christmas. Okay. Exactly. We don't celebrate anything. All you hear about during this time of year is Christmas this, Christmas yeah, that. Yeah, because it's Christmas. It's what every winter story on the TV show is about. Yeah. Uh, except Special Funnel. And Thomas, Terrence, and the Snow. Oh, and Toby had a little... Asshole. We get it. Shut up. Encyclopedia Britannica over here, I tell ya. The point is, is that this season is so ridiculous. I mean, come on! Even the scrap in your cars have decorations on them! Cause it's Christmas. Cause it's fun. Yeah, you got a point. I'm sorry you two can't enjoy this time of year like everyone else. I wish I could help. That's no tough. No one should feel alone right now. Do trains even care Goodbye. about that? I, I don't know how that See works. See you later, Ebenezer Splodge. Oh, God him. <sighs> what a weird time to be stuck in Audrey's world of English Anglicans. That's accurate. That's funny. That's actually that's cool. Bah humbug. The set so far are actually really Meanwhile, impressive. In the mountains of Sodor, a sturdy diesel made his way through the snow. His name was Rusty, and he helped to mend the line and do odd jobs on his little railway. Really? During the winter season, this meant clearing the tracks of snow so the other engines could safely take passengers and goods to villages high in the mountains. The only problem was he didn't exactly have a snowplow. I am the snowplow. 
<laughs> Is this during that. the pandemic? What? Yeah, it's gotta be during the pandemic. I feel like such a fool. Maybe. And you look like one too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sir Handel. Your witty commentary is as poignant and necessary as ever. <laughs> Got him. Funny. That's just what the Fat Controller said immediately before granting me the privilege of pulling the special Christmas Eve passenger run nice. up to Lakeside Station. Nice. I'll be sure to whistle at you as I glide past you and your fellow. That eye so animation, whatever it is, is really cool. <laughs> hey, 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 I don't take kindly to imitation steamrollers, especially ones as unlikable as you. Why is the face well, so small? It's kind of creepy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> ah, yes. I like the different oh, accents. He wouldn't know hard work if it ran him off his stupid fucking rails. George, I always thought you hated engines. Why did you just stick up for me? I make exceptions for the exceptional, and you, my friend, That's are a exceptional good phrase. I like that. Respect. Why, thank oh. you. It takes one to know one. That's something it you'd get so tattooed. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in that get up. Well, the fat controller seems to think that an increase in Santa hats will see a parallel increase in profits. Is that but good for engines, though? This time of year, isn't it? Ain't it the truth? Hmm. That evening, Rusty had just finished cleaning a stretch of track near the main line. Nice. His driver had removed his mask and decorations, and he was just going to take a quick rest before heading back up the mountain. When? Oh, yeah! <laughs> this bad boy can really shred some powder! just ruined all my hard work. The narrow gauge line is blocked again. And yet our standard gauge line is clear, little man. Crystal. You know, I've had to put up with a lot of nonsense today, but this just takes the- Silence, annoying orange. What? Like the Who YouTube channel, Blessy. yes. Meet Gold Tech's latest and greatest creation. Boris the Snow Machine. Hello, I am Boris the Snow That's Machine. That's kind of scary. We've been a little Boris. bit. The Snow Machine. Uh, yeah. We've been taking him around the island for a test drive. Fat Hat picked him up cheap Fat from a hat? friend overseas. That's nice. You're the best, Boris. The Snow Machine. Fat and bend him. Wow. You're very lucky. You see, on my railway, they just drive me headfirst through the snow. You big engines get snow plows and a snow machine. Named Boris. Tough titty, kid. Named now Boris. Now watch what years of illegal Soviet-era experimentation can do at full power. <laughs> we having a seizure? That was a little devastating, nice. Well. Uh, I, I don't think we meant to do that. Yeah, Thank no. You, Tori. My bad, everybody. <coughs> mm. Is is everyone all right? No. Uh, what? Oh, oh his great. teeth. Uh, That's oh. fun. Hmm. Oh, dear. Well, the rest of the track is clear. Surely someone will be along soon enough. I mean, it is Christmas Eve after all, right? Every Yo. <laughs> I never wanted to see that. And where is your wife? Who? Where's Duncan? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna be stuck there. I've had enough! Stutter and Dodge, this was all your fault! You put us in this mess to begin with! Jesus, you stay silent for 45 minutes and this is what you choose to mm -hmm. start with! Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for your reckless actions, I wouldn't be stuck here in the freezing cold all night! With you three Intense. on Christmas Eve. Ah. Yeah. Shit. This just sounds like no sleep for Cranky mixed with Oliver the Snow Engine. Mm -hmm. Cranky the no sleep engine, if you will. But uh, yeah. Um, sorry, Rusty, if uh, Christmas meant a lot to you. <sighs> no, not really. The other engines treat me like a punching bag, and I. Wow. 
I don't care for it. I'm just so sick of their stupid whistling. It feels patronizing. If they had feet, they'd be walking all over me. Well, you're lucky. We ain't got it. I do. What? Yeah, he's still discovering new things about his body. He'll learn. Christmas time isn't easy for us either. No, we don't fuck with it. Not our style. Oh, I didn't know that was an option. Well, we seem to be the only ones on this island who don't believe in Christ. I'm sure he was a nice guy. Hey, I, I, you know, don't get me wrong or anything. Is well, that a thing I for engines? Like, but there was once another Sudrian who believed what you two do. Is religion a thing for trains? I I don't know. This is so cool. I love the mix of like different stuff. Let me freeze my nuts off. Putting up these stupid decorations. This stupid windmill. This lights. This gold lights. These gold finger lights. It looks like he should be like the conductor for the Polar Express, but I know that's not the costume for it. In the middle of nowhere. Because it's the source of our family's gold dust. Ah, who gives a shit? Source of family's gold dust. What, what difference does it make where we get our gold dust from? I've got enough. It's not like I'm gonna run out. <laughs> Don't fall. You need two people for a ladder. That's not. He's gonna fall and die, probably. Probably. Let's just assume. Or maybe not. The spirit of Christmas will keep him alive. Theoretically. Wait. Yes. Magic, hello? He's not gonna get hit by the windmill or whatever that is, is he? Oh, he's not gonna fall back and hit it, is he? Heavy duty. Are you supposed to do that with Christmas lights? I would not know. Oh, he got his glove. Okay, he didn't get his finger. That's not. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, he. That's it. That's it. I hate these stupid decorations. I'm never putting them up ever again. Can't you just slide your hand out of the glove? That's what. Ooh. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna hit the windmill. That's great. That's better. I like the outfit, it's cool. Oh, oh. Did, did you put this here for me? Hello, oh, yes. I I was coming. <laughs> well, how kind of- oh! Ah! oh no. I like that. The mix between like models and actual people, that's very that's interesting. I that there was no god. Happenstance is much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that was. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually enjoying this evening with Splatter and Dodge. Yeah, despite not associating Christmas with Jesus, Santa, Tim Allen, or commercialization, Tim we Allen. all agree that Christmas ain't all bad. Damn, dude. You should like become an agnostic like us. No, no, I, I couldn't. Uh, it wouldn't be right to include an agnostic conversion scene within a Christmas special. It, it's too on the nose and people wouldn't like it. Well, you know what I don't like? This arbitrary notion that Christmas is supposed to bring out the good in people, as if they're incapable of it the rest of the year. No. It's only That's when like this Valentine's Day. holiday rears its head again on the calendar that we start up the old timely traditions and then the good comes out of us. Even though most of its traditions didn't even come about until the mid 1800s and the date on which this holiday falls on doesn't make any sense. Yes, that's accurate. That's accurate. Bethlehem be in their fields during the winter. 
Maybe it wasn't winter on the calendar they were on back then, but it did have something Asking to do with the real the questions. Julian calendar, the Gregorian one, 437 years ago? Would yep. changing the calendar affect a person's ability to be good? Yes. Well, Asking the real questions. Have to reschedule. Uh, vacation plans to Orlando. A uh, dentist appointment. A dentist appointment? What have you got to do with dentists? Hey, man, I didn't say I wanted to be one. Well, I don't need no dentist or apparition telling me how mean-spirited I am or an angel telling me how wonderful my life is. And I certainly don't need it for two whole months. I mean, forget Thanksgiving. That's been rolled over. But they can't wait for Halloween to be over before they terrorize us with the red and white death of spirit-soaked nut bread. We were working on this special before we even finished the Halloween one. Ugh, don't even get me started on specials. If I ever have to come across those TV channels that play romantic Christmas films 24-7 oh, for two Mark. months... That's a... That's a... Uh, lifetime? Hallmark. 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 Hallmark, yeah. They're all the same. Overworked, Throwing some same shade at Hallmark, I'm down. Takes a nostalgic trip back to her home in any town USA for Christmas when her mm -hmm. Prius breaks down and a second rate Chris Pine shows up in his 70s Ford F100 and he's a Christmas tree salesman. But guess what? He's fixing up the old Amberson homestead into a bed and breakfast and she agrees to help him while they're on a date riding a carousel because she's missed out on love and yada yada yada. At nausea! I want to know if these wine moms lapping up this stuff are sucking down because it must be insanely high proof. Ugh! That was I good. Drinking, they can sustain their feeling for two months. Must be easy when everything's numb. And you know what? They miss out on that moment. That one little moment during those couple I days love on this Christmas song. Eve or Christmas Day. Maybe you're sitting in your living room, looking out the window. At a snow-covered cul-de-sac, the kind with a lamp post and hedge in the middle where the road loops. So pretty in the snow, tinted blue by the moon, silent and majestic. And you suddenly take in that moment where all seems at peace with the world, and you want to grab onto it. But you can't. You just have to let it flow through you and settle in with it. The moment may soon be gone, but the memory is forever. And in that moment, you truly feel good inside. You mean like Amen. right now? Huh? Well, what you're describing. Enjoying the moment with your uh, friends? Ranting about Christmas and television movies? Pointing out Hallmark. the shortcomings of others and mocking the misfortunes of Mr. Conductor? Well, maybe that's what Christmas is all about. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, maybe we should do this every year. What? A Get tradition, the yes. Take the piss out of a vapid consumerist holiday and a former drug addict? Yeah. yeah. I could get behind that. I'd like that a lot. Thanks. <laughs> Still in the we snow. Can't to help. <gasps> My hero. A little late for that. Whatever will you move all this snow? The magic dust. What? Like, sir? Shit. Shit. Well, Judge Splatter and Judge, for saving the, uh, um, uh, day. Oh, well, you're too kind. It was nothing, really. But if I had to thank anyone, I want to thank the Academy. What? Are you blitzed out of your bloody mind? You came here to rescue us from what they did. Look, 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 look. I, look, may have partaken in a drinky poo or two last night, but I will have you know. That I have all my wits about me. Feliz Navidad, you bad hombre. Responsible for this fat man face down in the snow. Yeah, that's Wait accurate. Oh, I just realized something. Rusty missed out on the party. 
Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Is that orange bastard anyways? Somewhere else? There he is. Hey, Rusty, wait! What is What's that? Something? Hello? My driver, uh, Jim Cole, put it together for you. Take a look! Hello? <gasps> oh, a snowplow, that's you. fun. Oh, that is a nice gift. If only I could return the favor. Oh, you don't have to. I, I just felt like a... Uh... Wait. <laughs> I've got something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Sir Handel. What? Stop that racket! Your whistle is horrendously irritating! Hey, Sir Handel! Ah! Oh, is he scared of that? Tis nice. The season, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yes. Alright, oh. so, uh, yeah, that's uh, my Christmas story. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for listening. Alright, the mic's off. Whew! Uh, uh, Alright. Behind this. Oh, bloody hell, that's a fucking stinker right there. Oh. That's a lot of people, and they all did really well. Jacob Jarrett's popping up. Shout out to Jacob. Yes. Oh, in California, that's cool. That video makes me a little sad because it's not Christmas. Because I personally do love Christmas. I think it's a fun time. Um, anyways, but that was that was nice to see. As I was saying in the beginning, the sets were super cool. Throughout the entire video, the sets were awesome. Another thing I didn't mention but I noticed was that the voice acting for the entire video, all the different characters, also really well done. Whatever was used like microphone wise made all the voices like really clear. Even if people use different microphones, they all sounded really good. The overall plot of the video was really good. I liked the fact that the video itself, like the plot, was satirical. I feel like that made it enjoyable for me to watch. Because I'm not someone who really watches Thomas and Friends content other than what's requested. Uh, so the stuff that I've seen mainly isn't typically satirical, uh, but that video w made it really well done. Basically, That's what I'm basically trying to say. It was good. The different figurines and models were cool as well. I didn't recognize some of them, so that was nice to see some new stuff as well. But yeah, I like that. I feel like a lot of effort was put into that video. I feel like it was obvious that some like pretty good effort was put into that. So yeah, very nice video. Thank you for sending that my way. So that's essentially the reaction video. So if you have anything that you would like to send my way, let me know and I'll get to watching it as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.